Hello, everybody. Squirrel, dragon. First, second. Yay. There we go. So, we're going to mix things up today. And I might really mix things up in the sense that this is my Tiger 1. Tech Tree Tiger 1. And I do like the Tiger one. I also like the Tiger P. I remember liking the Tiger P a lot. Um, but one thing I am sort of eclipse, eh, man? Fifty <laughs> third. <laughs> I want to take the stubby little gun on the Tiger one. Look at that. I wanna, I wanna he some things. Let's see how this goes. Six, hello. George, good to see you live streaming and totally agree with your opinion on fixing era three. Ah, yes. There's um I've done a few videos on how to fix era three. We'll have to see we'll have to see what Wargaming do about it. Um, if anything. They don't have to do anything about it, obviously. Tis their game. Oh, let me fix this a second. Hang on. Um, that. That. I don't want my name popping up every time I say something on the right hand side. Burke, hello! Musket, hello. Nice garage setup. Yeah, you know, each season we get we get little new bits here and there, so I like to like to spruce the place up, you know. What tier are we at? Oh, we're two tiers down. That's good. Two tiers down, and we've got derpy high explosive. <laughs> well, oh, oh. Clemens, hello. How's my audio today? Can you guys hear me? Yesterday's stream was from my PC and I had a few issues with it. No one's not saying anything about it, so I assume it's all good. You can. Loud and clear. Awesome. I didn't realise Tiger 1 had a skin. I love this. This looks so cool. Oh, I just saw something from Daniel there. I will get to that. Can we... Now... Okay. Yeah, can we... Oh. It's high explosive, isn't it? It's not going to do anything to him. Unless I hit his hatch. Daniel, 21 months! Woo! Coming up two years. Well, at least I'm getting the spotting assist for this. I suppose that's a bonus. Well, okay. Oh, alright, that does do something to him. Okay. That's better than... It's better than nothing at all, I suppose. You're there somewhere. You still there or are you dead? Ah, you are still there. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Ah, oh, 70. High explosive can take 70. Come on. Or take his gun. Come on. Are you gonna... There we go. 
Oh! Eight! Eight! Okay, someone else take it. Are you an E75 or a Type 2? Yeah, you're an E75. Okay. I don't really want to peek this again. Me and my 237 hit points. Oh, Cyrillic name. I don't read that. Hello, have a good mood. Yes, thank you. I will. Thank you. MEP, hello! Well, I think I've probably done more damage with the high explosive than I have. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I think I've done more damage from this position with the high explosive gun than I would have done with the regular 88. I can go around the corner now. I think with the recent season change and the update, I think they've changed the um, the engine sounds. Because the engines sound slightly different, and I like I like the new sounds. Is everyone too scared to go around the corner because they don't know what's at the back? I mean, I can understand that. I can understand not wanting to peek a 705. Ah, oh, 75, where are you going? Oh, mate! You are all over the place, man. There's a rock there, they can't see us. I uh, got the assist for, tra for tracking that guy. Flipping feigned it, didn't he? Well played. Flemish, hello. He faked the turret turn, that was clever. Best in game for assist, though. And there was an EBR in there. Ah, I do quite... Ah. I quite like this uh, high explosive derp show. <laughs> All right, let's jump to what am I grinding here? Oh, I've got oh double barrel. Let's play a double barrel. Come on then. This grind, I this is. I don't think I've ever seen a grind. As crazy as this one at tier 8. I could be wrong. If Eclipse is still here, he could probably tell us if there's a worse tier 8 grind. 
but this one is insanely long. Mm. Go with that. So, upgrades. We're fully upgraded, and we've got 200... I've done 42,000 already, and we've got another 200,000 to go. I don't... I, I, that seems like a tier 10 grind to me. That's a long way. How did you do that? Have a real picture of you as a commander? I've, I'm just uh, privileged, I suppose. <laughs> Haida, how are you? Hero. Ah, I've never been... Ah, hero. Oh, it's that hero question mark. Am I a hero? I don't, I don't know. Maybe. To some, I might be. <laughs> the boogie has a good derp gun. Oh, yeah. I've, I've got that one. I haven't played it for a while, though. Oh boy, we're real cool. Plus two, minus two is really uh, in full swing today, isn't it? Evening from Oz. Hey, Ken. <clears throat> the commander. Ha ha ha, Flemish. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I know the one you're talking about. You're talking about the troll with the massive crazy hair. Ha bloody ha. <laughs> Let's get both barrels in. You call me the hero because you're a professional in this game. <laughs> Spotted and shot to pieces right now. Oh, okay. Never mind. I mean, I appreciate that not happening. Oh, that sounds awesome, both both guns firing at the same time. But nice if I hit something. That sounded epic. Oh, that sounds... That sound! Oh, that is amazing. I like that. Oh my word, that is such a good sound. Oh, <laughs> oh I love it. Oh, E100, hello. Going to use my amazing Russian gun depression to... Uh, shoot nothing other than maybe you missed these these double barrels firing together it sounds like a there's a bit of a whip crack in there as well that sounds really good Again, buddy. Excuse me. Ah, oh, that's. Hmm. Don't know if I like that. 
That's definitely too close, I know that. I've done more to the E100 than he's done to me. I shouldn't have fired both there. I should have just fired one. Probably shouldn't have reversed there. I should have stayed face hugging him. That's my guess. Uh that felt good. That well, nah. I think I threw it there. I I, I was I forgot that it was a four thousand and five next to me. Oh no, it wasn't. Oh, there was a four thousand and five next to me. Where'd he go? Oh, he's dead there. Okay, yeah. I had no support. Can't run. Yeah, you can't run into that one, buddy. You've reloaded, bro. Right? Why didn't you shoot him? Bro! That mantis just bounced the Tehran. He did. He bounced the Tehran. How about that? Oh boy. Alright, what else have we got here? We've got Arties, we've got. Um. I fully upgraded that last night. GW Panther. Uh, we've got tier 5. Yeah, let's play. Oh, better gun. Yep, I'll take that. We have the toaster. Um, camo. Did we put camo on it? Does that really matter? Tier 5? Oh, we'll try it without and see what happens. I know this is an HG magnet though, so Ah Gary, hello. Your time in Baghdad is two thirty PM. Oh okay. Two thirty, that's not far off where that's only an hour ahead of me. Toaster toaster yeah, this is this is the toaster. <laughs> Good concealment, though. So, yes, playing it with... Playing it with camo would probably be... would probably be better. As a War Thunder player, you can't handle the invisible tank thing. I would so avoid World War II and mode entirely only Cold War. Yeah, well, yes, I know exactly what you mean by that. And that's one of the things I do like about War Thunder, is it's like, it's a mix of World of Tanks World War II with True Vision. It's the only way I can play a Panzer with True Vision. Which for me is what I quite like, so avoid getting spotted there. Okay. Are you. Are you gonna run away or are you guys gonna fight it out? I may as well help. Oh, there's another one. Oh, 
Oh, what's the gun depression like? Terrible. Right then. There's Artie. Go on, hit me here. Ah, you can't. See? See? I know that's Artie safe. I've got no support here. Oh, oh, come on now. Run, rabbit. All right, well, the team hasn't played the river, that's clear. This does feel like playing Era 1, with the kind of strategy that's going on. Did I take my tank out naked? I did, yeah. I, um... You know. No, I'll be careful what I say about it. <laughs> DJ, hello. Not doing too bad. I think I've done over a thousand damage. That's indecent, yeah. It most certainly is. I'm gonna play, I think I'm gonna play D7. Middle ish can cover the cap. Okay, never mind. Ha! <laughs> Two hit points. That guy's going to be fuming. Panzer 3J. That's what I was playing yesterday in War Thunder, the Panzer 3J. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I bet he's on the river. <sighs> if you're up for platooning, can you send an invite? Are we going to platoon? Hmm. I think I'm going to do this one solo, Flemish, but, um, yeah, next time maybe. Do we get the upgrade? Yeah, we do.
three kills, fifteen hundred damage. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, a war chest. Nice. There we go. That's the top gun. Right, what do we get from a sergeant's war chest? Silver, XP booster, and some gold. That's not too bad. Especially considering I didn't have that gold before. Okay, let's try... Where's it gone? Went the wrong way. There it is. Try this one again. <sighs> Westfield. Sunday afternoon, eating a roast lamb dinner with all the trimmings and watching tanks. Oh, roast lamb. Oh, that does sound good. Although, in all fairness, after the stream, I've got some roast beef waiting for me downstairs. Put some horseradish with that. Oh, that is amazing. Mm. That is good. Uh, that's a tier 9 next to me. No, it's not. It's a tier 8. Mint sauce, yeah. Mint sauce, that's, it's gotta be mint sauce with lamb. One that gets boiled alive to eat. Um, no, no, that's that's definitely not Flemish. No. <laughs> Ian, hello. Slow cooker and war thunder. Why anything else? Yeah. Well, that's what I did yesterday with the beef. It was in the slow cooker for uh, nine hours, and the the potatoes were in there, the carrots were in there, onion was in there. And um, gravy, everything was just all in there, just cooking for nine hours. Um, hello? Hey, it's Daniel! Daniel! Yorkshire puts with lamb or not? Yorkshire puddings normally, I'd say, that's normally a beef thing. Although I suppose it can go with anything. Oh, I Max got them. Okay, yeah, fair enough. There you go. <laughs> Do the double. I'm sorry, these guns sound amazing. This is that is such a good sound. Here. Oh, nice. Oh, I saw that. First shot from Dan hit. That's nice. Tiger 2. Oh, Dan's. Dan's tearing him a new one. Thank you. 
I want to say we've won this game, but there's no guarantee. You haven't won until you've won. Artie's down there. There's Artie. Only one barrel for that one. Uh, yeah, okay. Double barrels are just oh they're beautiful. Gotta say I do. Can we double this guy? Can we just YOLO him? Oh, come on, guys, don't cap. Come on. Come on, don't do that. <sighs> Doesn't make any difference whether you're in Cold War or World War II. People still cap. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. They've come off. Or well, one of them's come off. Only need one for that. There we are. One will do. Get the other. Don't cap. Come on, you don't need to. There's only one left. He's up here. But I'm too slow to get there. Come on. Don't cap. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on. Don't do it. Not not worth it. Don't. Don't. No, 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 no. Just look, he's right there. He's right there. 179 hit points, and it's you cap anyway. <sighs> Why? Why you do this? Oh well. MVP. There we go. Oh, these things are amazing. I love the double barrels. 9,000 XP. That's nice. Why? Exactly. Why? Why? <laughs> Doing quite well in that one. So I saw earlier there was a comment from Squirrel saying he, he struggles to play the double barrels. The double barrels are... The double barrels play like a slight variation of the Italian auto reloaders. Just because you can fire the whole clip quickly with the reload in between doesn't mean you should. So each engagement you've got to decide do I fire both or do I fire one? Like there on artillery I knew that double was too much. So a single was fine. But a double was needed for the iron rain. So it's kind of, you've got to make the decision on the fly as you go. And that's what I quite like about it, because you're then, you're just, you're having to think more about what you do, rather than just YOLO in with armor piercing every single time and just go bang, 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 bang. It gets very, very boring, in my opinion. Right, let's play one of the most frustrating artilleries that are available. Ah, <sighs> what's going on? Hey, Rust is here. Hello. A little birdie just told me it's Dragon's birthday today. So, everybody, all together now. Happy birthday. No, I won't sing the whole thing because that's uh, my voice. Is, singing voice isn't very good. I won't do the whole thing. But I'm sure everybody here will join me in saying happy birthday to Dragon. 
And Six is asking what a Yorkshire pudding is. I believe a Yorkshire pudding is pancake mix put in a muffin tin. Or a, a, um, the kind of the oven tray, the oven things that have got the, the scoops in it for cupcakes. You put it in that and then it just like creates a little bowl of... It's not really, it's not pastry, what is it? I don't know. It's good though, they're good for holding gravy. Now, I want to get in the right position to shoot down the road. I think about here should do it. There we go. It's normally something about here. Come on now, come on, don't be shy. Oh wait, the spawn's further over. Yeah. I've got the top gun on this, so the reload is a lot longer than... There's no gun traverse on this, it's so... it can be very frustrating. He has perf positioned that really well. There's one hit. Come on, come on now. Reload, reload. TD at the back still. <laughs> come on, come on. He's probably run off. I'm not going to get any more shots from there. Oh, that would be a nice bombardier, wouldn't it? Come on. Got rations. Let's just put the rations in. Come on, because we'll use it for the reload as well. Well, this has certainly not been the best map for artillery. So the remaining four are going to be over there somewhere. There's the tank destroyer. There 
we go. There's two of them on that. I can't hit the whole thing either, so... That was one reset, I think. That, the other one's here. Got him. There's the reset. Oh, that was a massive hit. What did I hit there? That was a... That, that must have been a full pen. Or that, no, that was a full pen. the heck did I hit? Tiger P. That's what I hit. Um. Okay. Got no shots, that's the problem. Okay, there he goes. So it's just the T fifty four E two, and he was last seen up here. Right, it's time to get aggressive. <laughs> Go through the gate here. Through that. Do they know each other? What's going on? No idea. I if it were me, I'd be sat back there defending their cap. I'm expecting to see him. There we go, there he is. So you're going to drive around there? It... Got him. Nice. Whew. Okay, well that hit on the Tiger P took that from being a rather, yeah, game to a... Whoa, game. Seven thousand XP, that's nice, that's nice. And we finished six. Not too bad. Not too bad. That is such that can be quite that, that is an annoying artillery to play because there's no hardly any gun traverse on it at all. It can be quite frustrating. Um So that's that one, there's that one. Um 
That's the Tiger 2, which I am still grinding. Uh, let's take a light tank out. Let's take this guy out. Churchill gun carrier. It'll put you in the light tank. Excuse me. Uh, appearance. Mm. Sir, hello. Uh, we'll just make it boring. Alright, so we've got times three. Where are we at on this? We're 72,000 XP away from the GSOR. Alright. Um, here we go. Any countdown today? Uh, not today, Ian, no. Making dragon Filipino adobo for dinner. Oh my word. Filipino adobo. I have never heard of that in my life. What on earth is that? Wonderful dish. I'll take your word for it, yeah. Cool. Fil Filipino adobo. That's one to look up for sure. Right, is this plus one, minus one, or is this plus two, minus two? Plus two, minus two. All right, and I'm at the top, so... <laughs> Suckers! <laughs> is it steamed monkey brain? To Flemish... You've been... You've, you've, you've just finished watching Indiana Jones or something, haven't you? Is it curry? Served over rice. Ooh. Okay, there's the bulldog. Dang, you stay, you stay spotted so long in World War Two. Whoa, what the heck's happening over there? Right, there is, there's quite a lot back there. Oh, it's the Cali, Cali, uh, Cali, yeah, thing. It's the rocket ship. Soy sauce base. Okay. You lot are going to need targets, aren't you? So, here we go. You want targets? I'll give you targets now. There you go. There's one. Whoa! That's a... Oh! That's a long way down. Good grief. I didn't know that was there. Artillery. Man, that Calio. Oh, that Calio. Is that how you say it? I don't know. That sounds terrifying down there. Twenty. 
Where's this bulldog going? That's the question. You're gone. That is... Whew. Probably didn't hit anything, but it's still quite scary. Light bulb. Oh, God, I'm sitting here like, <laughs> get undetected, get undetected. I need the light bulb to go. Go away. Go away. Go away. Someone's been practicing with them, haven't they? Someone knows how to lead their shots. Well played. Yep, yeah, he's done his homework. He's learned how to lead those rockets, because you have to lead those a long way. Um, we finished third. Okay, yeah, 1,300 assist. Eh. I wasn't aware we'd lost that one as badly as we did. Try again. Your first game in the TS5 got you 4,000 combined. That's pretty good. You don't do Rocky Mountain Oysters. What is a Rocky Mountain Oyster? I assume it's not an actual oyster if it's coming from the mountains. Or am I wrong? Do you have oysters in the mountains? Is that a thing? Test. Oh, is that what that means? Ugh. What? Who does that? Uh, what? What crazy nut eats does? Uh, people, come on now. Ha! Oh. Come on. 21st century, we don't need to be eating stuff like that. Good grief, people. Come on! <laughs> oh, get the gun! Oh, England, what were you thinking when you designed this thing? We don't need to shoot things! <laughs> no, tally-ho, folks! We'll just plant a flag and we'll beat them that way. For the Empire. Oh. Toodle pip and all that, you know. Oh, on the edge. 
living on the edge. There's nothing here. Why? I'm not used to these World War II teams that take forever to get places. Can I... Oh. Alright, there we go. Okay, there's a few there then. They probably need to get shot. Can we do that? Tiger one. Enemy armor is damaged. Shooting you through the tree so you won't see anything. Come on. Speed! Power! There we go, let's use the fuel that we've got in there. Shoot the ground. Bounce. Pen. Kill. Hey, we killed something! M48A2 and CS52. Pen right on the end there. Don't do brains either. No, I don't think you can. I don't think you're supposed to eat brains because they're uh, toxic. Frog's legs. I can't imagine there's much meat on a frog's leg, unless he's unless it's been down the gym squatting. So 4,800 XP. Did I have a boost on that? I... Maybe that was a boost. I don't know. Yeah, that was a three times on that one. I saw your video on the weasel. What do you... What did they change about the HE and Era 3? You mentioned there was a bit... The 477. Uh, high explosive is now available to more tanks in era three. So before, before two weeks ago, the only top tier tanks that had high explosive were the Type ninety, uh, the Challenger two had Hesh. I think that's it. The 7C, I think the 7C had a hesh. So basically, they were the only three tanks, or whatever, one or other, two others, they were the only tanks that could pen or do damage to the 477 from the front. And because there weren't enough of them in the game, 477s could just drive around doing whatever they want, whenever they wanted, to or whoever they wanted, because you couldn't damage them from the front. Um... But now that high explosive has been given to a lot more tanks like the Leclerc, Abrams, Leopard, everyone just spams high explosive at the front of a 477 and they poof, they disappear. They're still strong, but it does disappear relatively quickly. Quicker than before. 
Um, so yeah, that's the high explosive change or update, rather. So we're in the middle of the grind there, 380. Um, hmm. No tripe, carp, no. In my opinion, the reason the barrier of water is there is to let humanity know that it's not worth trying to get whatever's in there to eat it. The barrier is there for a reason. You just just don't worry about it. Don't worry about fish. Just pff, live without it. GI Joe, are they really going to put Artie in Cold War? <laughs> That video was made up. That was an April Fool's joke. I'm going to say no. They're not putting RT in Cold War. Uh, but they might in the future. I'm not going to say no for sure. Because I don't know what they're going to do in the future. Um, but that video was a joke. Your uncle completely fell for it too. Oh, am I am I that convincing? Am I? Re oh, I didn't know I was that convincing. I thought I honestly, I started that video, and I said, "This is one of the best artillery replays you're ever going to see." And at that point, I thought people might start going, "Okay, all right, all right, fair enough." And then I said, "I'm one of the best RT players in the game." Uh huh. Sure. Okay. And then I started talking about the importance of turning left at the right time, turning right at the right time. Because then, I, at that point, I thought this people would think this guy's full of he's full of nonsense. This is this is nonsense. And at that point, I thought people would realise I was full of crap. But uh, I've had comments on that video telling me that I need to have a thicker skin and I shouldn't quit the game so easy and I need to stop crying I'm just like oh guys it's a joke it was a joke and just whew, straight it's gone straight over people's heads uh, I think next time I'll end the video by saying everything I've just said is a joke uh, April. I should have said April Fools to everybody at the end because I didn't think I needed to, to be honest. Uh. <laughs> right, we are grinding the T thirty two, so we need to put a crew in here. Um, Fury. Yep, yeah, we'll go with the crew and the Fury. Although you know what, I have got free XP. I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to do that. Here we go. He was so confused about the 477 into a light. Yeah, but even then I said the auto cannon was going to be a 2-2. Like, did that... Did that not, like... Or do people not... I mean, I assume people knew what a 2-2 was. The rim fire, little tiny little thing. Oh. For two minutes you were thought just thought you were full of self. Yeah, yeah. But even even then I would have thought um it's like nah to claim you're one of the best RT players in the game. That's a big claim. <laughs> Never claimed to be the best at any tank, so it was easy to tell. Yeah. <laughs> IS-4. I don't think I have the IS-4. You don't know what that is. Oh, really? You didn't know what it... Alright, Google... Google point two two rimfire. Google that. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. Everyone's favourite tank type artillery, yeah, okay. Oh, 
I, I could make a whole I could make a whole series out of sarcastic news videos. You got me at October, yeah. I definitely thought people. By the time I said October, I thought at that point, yeah, people are gonna know because that that does that month doesn't even exist. I <laughs> should. It's a very funny video. So I, I could I could do World of Tanks console news videos, and I could talk about actual news that Wargaming is going to do. But then I could add bits to it so that none of will, no one will know what's true and what isn't. <laughs> I could be I could just confuse the hell out of everybody. Oh, you're almost dead, aren't you? Bye bye. Arty tanks came to Cold War, it would be chaos. Um, well, if if World War Two Arty did, yes. Um, yeah, he just casually penned that one. Go on then. War gaming, yeah, we'll let you have it. We'll let you have it. I've got no support here, and I'm in a stock T32, so. What you gonna do? Should make a satire of Era 3. You could do some interesting stuff with the things that are in there. Yeah. You know it was a prank since you mentioned the Cold War Arty because he, earlier that morning I just... Yeah. Yeah. I do think, on a serious note, though, I do think it highlights just how um, how serious the World of Tanks community is. It's like, I think everybody just needs to chill a little bit. Everyone, just take a breath. Just chill out. Just chill. Is that yeah? I, some some of the comments I've got on there from people that thought I was being serious, um, they've really tried. They've really lectured me on how I should you know be conducting myself in future, and it's like whoa, okay, all right, okay, <laughs> time out, buddy. <laughs> I'm not going to peek all the way, because that would be silly. Um, could use some help with the VK here. Yeah, all right. You're not looking at the VK. The VK is looking at me. Excellent. Uh, it's not just World of Tanks. Uh. Everybody, relax. <laughs> I think I I I could be I this is what their person this person said. One person got so upset with that video. They have three World of Tanks accounts and they said in their comment that they submitted tickets to Wargaming protesting the changes on all three of their tanks accounts. And when I saw that I thought, okay. That's uh, this oh oh dear. None of it's real. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh dear. 
When I saw the title, I was convinced there would be changes. Yeah. And also, keep in mind, if those changes were really coming, Petty would have said something, Eclipse would have said something, every single... Wargaming would have said something. <laughs> Wargaming would have said something long before I did. I don't know. It's crazy. Crazy, man. All right, so we've done we've done a fair few games in World War Two now. Let's change it up. Let's change it up. I am doing a contract here. What have we got? We've got tank destroyers, mediums, and lights. And I I I do I do quite no not that what's going oh that's why there. I've got to say I do like. My 120. I do. People are way too serious nowadays. Yeah. I don't think people trust each other like they used to. I think everybody is suspicious of everybody. Every bit of news, every bit of information. People are way too stupid. <laughs> I mean, I mean, some might be. I don't know. Cool garage. Uh, yeah. I, I say you're the second person to say that. Actually, someone else said it. Um, yeah. I do like updating the garage every every season because I know there's they bring out new stuff. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll change it up. I'll change it up every now and then. I think my favourite garage was the, my Christmas one. That's uh, that was my favourite. Uh, I don't know where to play this. On this, well, hmm, no, I could. Uh, do I? I'll be aggressive. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Say the bandit is the easier target. So I will shoot it. With the rock. Leopard is just hard scoping that corner. So I'm gonna shoot him that way. Oh, I shot the T sixty two. Bugger. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And bang. There you are, T sixty two. 
You are alive. You are dead. I was about to say that's going to hit, isn't it? Penetration. Penetration. <laughs> hey, there's fire. Woo! And six thousand damage later. Ba boom. I would like a shot into this guy. Uh, that was an auto cannon from my right. Was that? No, that can't have been friendly. There's nothing left that has an auto cannon. Conqueror T72 and Rakuten. Reba, hello. Ah, they're all over here. Come here. Come here. Dodge the trees. target. Pick the wrong target. The uh, 72 had more hit points. Oh well. Yeah, hey! Five kills, 7,000 damage. That's why I like the 120. It's a good tank. Mastery. Holding on to the two mark. Nice. Oh, what did I miss here? Push your big red button. Bite my tongue and not talk politics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a surefire way to, um, well, get into a fight with people, isn't it? Especially these days. Watch what you say, of course. I speak my mind and tell them, have a nice day. Hmm. Yes, I know what you mean. TK, hello. The new German lights in Era 2 are so broken, can't can't have fun with the Sheridan anymore because they are complete out. Yeah, I think the Marder 101 is okay for Era 2. Um, but... The big light panzer is ridiculous. That thing, that thing really is nuts. Night, night. Oh, Flemish, you post another link. <laughs> Does the fury disappear from the store on tomorrow's patch? Um, I don't know. It is there. Um. I I'm not sure actually. The other day you did eighteen thousand damage with the boat yeah, it, ugh. it's a very strong tank. Very, very strong. Naughty step for Flemish, yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
for the next week. Oh, it might, yeah, it might be for the next week, yeah. Um, speaking of, let's play it. It's tier six, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. The rate of fire is rapid in this thing. Very, very fast. You posted that Mike shot you in the hiney. <laughs> Is Mike not being very nice? What I've noticed in World War Two is everybody gets very passive on this map and they all sit about here but I've been pushing into the town and playing here and then you get all the spotting assists from that lot so let's see let's see what happens uh, what we're at is okay we're at is six this is plus one minus one all right fair enough You feel, yeah. <laughs> Thought you were done when you saw Flemish down and Russell in the machine. Oh, you all got into a game, did you? Nice. Gareth, hello. You always push E4, 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 E4. Oh, there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit more central than I'm going to be heading now, but I, I know, yes, I know the spot. See, there you go. They're all sitting B5. They're not pushing any further. That's what I mean. No one pushes. They can, because clearly I'm here. You can push, but no one does. you push that buddy yeah, you weren't gonna win that one definitely not I think this slope is good because it's a very tough arty shot as well. Even though they can aim at you, I think the angle makes it a very difficult shot. Or at least from memory, that's what I remember. Come on, pull back. Pull back. Go on.
Uh, I am not arty safe at the minute. I know that much. Oh, light bulb, go away, for goodness sake. <laughs> you get detected for so long. Uh, I don't know how long it is in World War II, but it does feel like a long time. My team's going to lose this. One's left, you're right. That is one thing that World War Two doesn't teach people. It teaches people to be teaches people to be so passive. You can't all just sit on a ridge line expecting someone else to push forward. You've actually got to do it as well. Two thousand damage, three kills. Oh boy. <laughs> That's one plus that is one positive about Cold War. Cold War says that you can push. We only basic med kit. Um Dunno, just yeah. <laughs> Alala Main was the first map you played in Oh, okay. I'm saving for my holiday, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I do like the Fury. This is a... it's The rate, the, the rate of fire is... Um, it's, it's rapid. It is rapid. That is one of the reasons why I like it. Um, Alright, Cold War. We're doing lights, mediums, and tank destroyers, so... Let's take out. It's over here somewhere. Let's take out the 101. Here we go. What do I think about the Type 63 that's coming out? Um, that's the new Japanese Tier 8, isn't it? The new Japanese Heavy? Um, I want to know what on earth are those things around the barrel? It's got like. Are they counter? Are they meant to be counterweights for something, or is it just decoration? Um, Loki, hello. Um, it's got the uh, it's got the automatic suspension on it, and I'm assuming that'll activate at a certain speed, which is going to probably be a little irritating because you're counting. you you'll you'll go into a fight counting on the extra four degrees of gun depression and then because it's a fight you'll accidentally go too fast you'll lose the four degrees you you'll you then won't get the shot and then you'll get shot so it's stuff like that where it's i find stuff like that annoying rather than helpful um, but we'll see i don't know they i mean their advert says the gun is what is it high penetration high alpha or is it high, fast? Re I I can't remember the, the exact details, but um, I'll have to play it and see how it goes, basically. Is this the deep water? Yeah. 
Oh, you're actually chasing me. Okay, I don't think you'd bother. Because typically that's not worth fighting for. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I wasn't expecting that. Thank you, Lorraine, for that. Can we... Did I track him? No, I hit the tracks. Yes, you drove into the swamp, sir. Ooh, there's a lot over there. Oh my word. Okay, bounced. Unusual. Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, 13 to 9. That's not brilliant. Two five, uh, 251 would be alright. We can take the 251. As long as we don't touch him. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. There's some angry people over there. <sighs> right, their whole team is together down there. Um. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh! Bat chat! Hello. Don't mind if I do. Oh, come on now. Not worth driving in front of a Conway. Oh, that could have killed me if I wasn't careful. Whoo! The team could do this if they just hold there. And I spot what's coming around. Okay, never mind, there's a 4005. <laughs> oh, full health 251, yes. Oh, there's so many of them left. Where have you all been hiding? How is your team winning? What's that chasing me? Oh my goodness, the f this thing at close range is so difficult to use. shouldn't have driven up here.
All right, all right. Lost alive. Three on the cap, 30 seconds. I'm not going to get there. Four on the cap. Oh boy. How did they have that many tanks at the back and still win that game? I feel like 50% of their team was camping and they still won. Eh? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. But, what's that? That's 5,000, 6,000 combined in the 101, which means we hold on to the three mark. Gareth, because of you. Yeah, I saw Gareth there. Gareth, in your Conway. Yeah. Now, someone... 50% um, of their team camped, 80% of my team YOLO'd. That's a really interesting thing to say, actually. Neither one of those strategies is good. Camping isn't good. YOLOing isn't good. But... Yeah, it's... Which team... So that game was which team had the better of the worst strategies. <laughs> uh, um, right, someone mentioned... Is it a Type 63 coming out next week, did they say? Because I've been getting confused. Because every time someone says Type 63, I think of this thing. But it's not that, is it? Is it Type 63? Did they say Type 63? Japanese heavies seem to be okay on PC. Okay. Quiet faith. Any tips for live oaks? Um, yeah, avoid avoid the deep, deep water in the swamp. You don't want to go there. There are, there are tracks in the swamp. If you're going to go through the swamp, stick to one of the tracks because you know that's... The terrain resistance isn't brilliant there, but it's not as bad as the rest of it. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what I would say. Oh, yeah, what Russ said. Also grind on your Xbox accounts. So, so fully upgraded. Oh, okay. Oh, so not fully upgraded. All right. No worries. Flemish, I see you, man. Lights went in the swamp and you were picking them off. Yeah, maybe maybe that warrants a video on the concept of terrain resistance. Because Live Oaks, Live Oaks has always been, even back in the day... I remember playing Live Oaks a lot back in the day. And I don't think I ever once drove my tank through the swamp. It's time like, to battle. Considering what my heroes have been through, this will be a walk in the park. I think that's a true statement for me, actually. Even when our team was up, like, 10 to 2, and I could drive through the swamp, I never did. I never went through the swamp. Just because it was always like, you just don't go there. You just, no one goes to the swamp. No one. Ever. Don't even bother. Although, I'm, I'm venturing into the swamp a lot more now. 
I'm, like, I, I'm sorry, I can't take this seriously. Every time I say swamp, I think of Shrek. This is my swamp! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a terrible Scottish accent, but... Um... Okay, there's an assist. 835. Yeah, so if I do a Live Oaks video, I'm going to have to put little snips of Shrek in there. Every time I say the word swamp, it's just going to be Shrek. Eleven hundred assist. That's nice. Ooh, beep beep. Where are you going, Mr. Bulldog? Back to the garage, by the looks of it. Or not. If they burn, we can destroy them. Yeah, bye bye. Bulldog's a good tank, but it's not as quick. I think that's the only downside to it. Getting all the assist, look at that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, this is a commitment. This could go really wrong. Really wrong. Go away! Get get off! Ah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you're chasing me, aren't you? You're, you're, you're upset. I've upset you, haven't I? I've upset you, <laughs> Mr. T-54! <laughs> you are not letting this go, are you? <laughs> oh, he's not happy. Oh no. <laughs> I got that 54 anyway. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Expect a message from the T54. Why can't I kill you? Why can't I kill you? Why can't I kill you? What? Oh, I don't I I don't understand where the shots go from this tank when you're at close range. You aim them and they're just They're just off where did that shot go? Oh my Guns pointing this way, shot went that way. Oh man. Flemish, you did well. Nice one. With the 107. You ah Flemish, you've got the camo on there that I want. I don't have that camo. That's one camo I really like to have and I don't have it. Whoa, that much assist? Damn. Alright. That's pretty good. Keeping the three mark alive. Nice. GG. Uh, oh, I don't speak Cyrillic. What does that say? I have no idea. Um, hang on. Let me translate that. One second.
there, that's where I need to go. Name baby. Uh context there might be missing, translation might be wrong, but that is that is Russian. That was tactical trolling. Uh I never I never intended to do it never you know, it was it was never meant to be that from the start, but uh it would seem it would seem I pushed a few buttons there. <laughs> Oh. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. Um. Oh. 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 We're going to do it. And this is where camo matters because we can be seen. You cheater! Oh, is that what is that what it means? You cheat? I don't know. I I, I pasted it into Google Translate and it said name baby I don't know I don't know what the first message meant either what's the first one so look what does that mean you I don't know still don't know what that means <laughs> Not an insult. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, uh, 47... Oh, 477. There's weasels there. Flemish and his marder. Okay. Thanks, Ricky. BD one nine two. Who's who's BD one nine two? In the uh, a weasel player, huh? A weasel player. I think I'm going to push, push this flank. Oh, nine hit points? Oh. Kind of got numbers down here. I'm in the low ground, but... Oh, there's another one. I have a feeling I've screwed... screwed up here. Ah, 
Oh, come on, the building! Gotcha. Oh, I didn't need to take that ATGM. I could have avoided that. Oh, 59D. It's... Was that a... No, that wasn't. Um, it's nice to see someone playing the 59D. Don't see those very often. This thing is so quick. Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, am I reloading that? Yes, I am. I've done an amazing result, but we have got four kills. Uh, oh, it's not there. It's here. Uh, where's the land bridge? Here it is. Uh, who's targeting? Charlie 2 is smoke, that's interesting. Oh, what? Oh, wrong flipping. Oh, I've changed my ammo type to high explosive. I don't want to do that. Oh. Huh. There you go. Set a weasel on fire with high explosive. What's that? What's that? What's that? That's that. Oh, all right. Okay. This is. Are you? It's a, oh, it's a oh four set. Okay, where's the four seven seven? There's the four seven seven. Wow, that was a game. Nine kills. Whew. Nine kills. Good grief, that is amazing. That is a result. Wow. Alright. Frost medal. Cool headed. Top gun. First class. So if I... Uh, <laughs> if I'd killed that Marder... That I was shot at before he went off the cliff. That would have been a 10 kill game. That would have been very nice. That would have been very nice indeed. Well. There we go. That I think. Is an excellent game. On which to end. The stream. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to end it there. That was an incredible result. 
And there's a message from BD. GG, sir, casually dropping a nine bomb. Yeah, yeah, just... <laughs> just casually. Just casually drop that one in there to end the stream. All right. GG, Ro- yeah. Oh, Roger, you've just arrived and I'm heading off. Oh, well, you can you can go back to the beginning and watch it all again. There you go. Okay, so it's Sunday today. Um, there's a new tank coming out Tuesday, which I... I'll do one of my typical overviews. I won't do a review per se because it's World War Two, and you know I'll just give you my thoughts on it. But I will do an overview of the new Japanese tank. So that's Tuesday. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's about. There's nothing else happening, really, is there? No. So have a good rest of your Sunday, guys. Um, happy birthday to Dragon again, and I will. Yeah, Tuesday. You'll have my review, my overview Tuesday. So have a good rest of your weekend, good rest of your Sunday, and I will catch you all next week. Bye-bye.